All right. What's going on, psychopaths? We don't have any. Oh, my, my post notifications are on. Jesus. Can't have that. I guess like my case matches my hoodie now. It's been a minute since we made one of these, huh? Long time no see, movie review thing. Uh, we got, we, I, I have some things to talk about and I'm choosing to upload them to my YouTube channel whether you like it or not, okay? Because this is my channel and I'm gonna upload whatever I want on my channel. I don't know, if, I don't care if you don't want a Joker review. I don't care if you, if you just didn't care. If you're like, why would I watch that? Well, you're here now. You're watching it right now, so joke's on you. Ha, you're in my Joker review. Welcome. The reason why I wanted to make a YouTube video talking about the Joker movie is just because of how much hate and fucking slander and just being torn apart online that this movie is getting, okay? Because, you know, like, the majority of the public loves it, and that's sort of my thing on this, is I think a lot of this slander is forced, and I don't want to say fake, because it's not fake, but like, it's just, I don't feel it, okay? Because, like, the general public loves this movie. If you've seen this movie, you know that it's fantastic, all right? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend and try and come up with all these, like, film critic reasons on why the movie didn't connect or didn't connect, and that's fine. If you saw this movie and you just genuinely didn't like it, who is anybody to try and tell you that your opinion is not justified? So that's totally fine. If you don't like this movie, that's cool. The problem that I have online is people trying to say that this movie like empowers or almost celebrates like psychopaths and serial killers and murderers and just like murder in general, like this movie glorifies murder. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen The Joker before. <laughs> So if you went into this movie not knowing that that's what the Joker is or does, then you're in the wrong movie. You don't go see Lord of the Rings and get frustrated that they showed a Lord of Rings. Like, that's just fucking idiotic. That's my little rant aside from that. Uh, unjust, I don't care. Go see the movie and make an opinion for yourself whether you like it or dislike it. That's your decision. But uh, as for my opinion, I, I thought it sucked. Yeah, I thought it was horrible. Obviously, I'm completely joking. I thought the movie was fantastic. I thought the movie was great. I share the same opinion as the rest of the herd. I'm one of the sheeple. Just because you share the same opinion as the mass of people doesn't mean you're sheeple, whatever. I'm not even gonna preface that. But yeah, no, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, Todd Phillips, the director, I've really, really been interested in seeing him break out even more because he did the Hangover Trilogy, which is a cult classic and comedy. Everybody loves those movies. But then he did War Dogs. I I'm like 99% sure he was the director behind War Dogs. That was a really good movie and I feel kind of underrated, didn't get a whole lot of buzz after it. And so I was really looking forward to this interpretation of the Joker and just seeing his vision with it. Uh, and oh my God, like dude, talk about the most unsettling, just you're like grabbing the seat rests next to you because there's so many parts where you're just like, oh my God, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like stop laughing, stop talking, stop doing what you're doing, Arthur. Like just stop, stop doing it because it's all wrong and it's making me very uncomfortable. And that's exactly what the filmmakers sought out to do. They made you feel very uncomfortable from everything to the use of color, the, the blue shades that are in very unsettling scenes from the subway to the bathrooms to the very ending final act uh, and then also the music the screeching of violins and cellos or whatever they were using it was just really hard on the ears and added to the scene like times 10 I, I think the score is amazing in this movie and one of the more underrated things people aren't talking about which I have to bring up because you know I'm I am a bit of a cinephile I wanted to use this movie as a way for me to start kind of talking about movies again a little bit on the side but mainly just because this was my favorite comic book adaptation into like a true character story 
film. It's just a character-driven film. This entire movie is carried off the back of Joaquin Phoenix. Every scene is starring him. He carries every scene. There's not a single scene in this movie that doesn't star him, except, I don't know, maybe like a few flashback sequences for a second. But like, he's this entire movie. If he didn't work, this movie didn't work. And I think the pairing of Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix was magic. Uh, I think everything that they did from the beginning, from making you empathize with the psychopath, but also questioning what's real and what's not real, what's actually happening, what's being twisted. And at the very end, I did not agree with anything he was doing. Like some people are trying to say that this movie makes the Joker out to be a hero or that at the end of the movie, you're supposed to kind of be on his chaotic side. And I don't see that at all. I think all this movie did was kind of make you understand where people are coming from and how amazing villains are written because nobody ever thinks they're a villain. The greatest villains that we have in storytelling are the villains that think that they're the hero, that see themselves as the hero. And in this story, I don't even know if that go if that's true with the Joker. I don't think he sees himself as the hero. I think he sees himself being in a position that society has pushed him into. He didn't want to be there. He didn't want to be this person, but society molded him into this person and wasn't there hearing his yells for help, his screams for help. And now he is what he is. And the final act of this movie is just a blowout. It's so incredible. I cannot wait to go see this again. The best way that these production companies and, and studio heads that they can hear your voice is with money, is with your wallet. If you really like this movie, if you wanna see more shit like this, which I sure as fuck do, then go see this movie, go, and if you want to, I know it's heavy, I know it's a very heavy movie to sit through, but see it a couple times if you want. This movie's smashing box office, it's not struggling at all, believe me, but these are the type of movies that I know are possible with comic book stories, with comic book characters. Not only can we get these massive team-up Avengers Justice League films, but just these one-off stories, like the Joker, and like, I, I, they could do something so amazing along these same lines with Moon Knight, I don't even wanna get into that, but like, dude, I'm just saying, there's so much potential here you look at Logan you look at Deadpool even though that's a, not serious like this but all these R-rated movies, not counting Venom, not doing that. These are really great stories, and I do think 100% Walking Phoenix will get a Best Actor nomination and should hopefully win. I haven't seen anything else that I think trumps his performance. I do think this film will get a nomination for Best Picture at the Oscars. I don't think it'll win, but that's really it, dude. And I haven't given a score or done movie stuff in a really long time. I'm giving this movie a diamond award, a diamond medal. In my rating system, that's a five out of five. I barely remember how I did it, but it was bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond. That's how I did it, okay? And I've only ever given one other film a diamond, and that was Deadpool. I definitely don't have a comic book bias. There's many other diamond rated movies I've seen lately. I just don't do movie reviews as much because who's gonna watch this shit? Why are you watching this right now? How bored are you? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I did want to touch for a second on like the Martin Scorsese comments on the comic book industry. I, I That could be a whole separate video, so I'm not even gonna really dive into that. All I wanted to say is that Martin Scorsese as amazing and talented and just god tier filmmaker that he is sounds like a fucking moron and needs to shut the hell up because he is one of the reasons, if not the main reason, that Joker even got made in the first place. The movie's heavily inspired off of Taxi Driver, one of his fucking films, and he went to the studio with Todd Phillips and pushed this movie to be made. For a movie to just come out that he pushed to be made and it's as great as it is, and for him to make these comments at the same time is really sort of kind of, I don't know, pem dassing pem, it's really fucking pem dossing and canceling like his stance on stuff out because I part of me feels like he's he's really saying stuff wrong and, and he doesn't mean what he's saying and then part of me is just like no he does he's like in a weird way is this promotion for Joker I don't fucking know um, I just think he needs to stick to, to what he's doing and just don't mind yourself with all the other movie stuff that's going on in the theaters because at the end of the day at least it's getting people into the movie theaters again, and we're having really great experiences, so that's an all-around win. The same way how starting things, I don't know how to end these things. Uh, I am trying to upload more, um, but I'm also trying to figure out what 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 shit you guys really like to like watch, man, because I can make content on anything. I just really wanted to do this. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Fortnite. Ooh.